In the book of Psalm 67, verse 6, Psalm 67, verse 6, the Bible says, Then shall the head yield an increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. Then shall the head yield an increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase your harvest in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, Father, bless the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. Father, bless the work of my hands in the name of Jesus. Father, bless the work of my hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV station dedicated to interpreting your dreams and warfare prayers. I'm Evangelist Joshua Oreke from Lagos. You are watching your dream meeting with Evangelist Joshua. Today's topic is, I am aversing plenty of yam. I am aversing plenty of yam. So this dream comes from Michael. Michael writes, I had a dream of adversing plenty of yam and I was very happy about it. If you are happy, why adversing plenty of yam in a dream? Then that makes it a good sign. Dreams of adversing yam indicate fruitfulness, money, success, hope, breakthrough, pregnancy, abundance, business profit. For most women believing God for the fruit of the womb, this type of dream could also indicate pregnancy or children are coming. To averse yam in the dream foretells celebration, longevity. It may also symbolize a big reward coming to you very soon. Say Amen. Somebody or someone will recognize your effort in life and bless you. If you are into a business in real life, this type of dream could also signify a better profit will be offered to you very soon. If you are expecting something tangible in life, that dream, that expectation will surely come to pass if you don't give up. A good harvest of planting of yam symbolizes business progress. Obviously, when you see yourself harvesting lots of yam in the dream, it could suggest that you are going to reap the reward of something you have done previously. For example, you may have worked hard to succeed in life, but the good news, however, is that you have got into your season of harvest in Jesus' name. Have you sown in the past? If yes, then it's time to harvest something worth important in life. Perhaps it's time to enjoy a period of great bounty and reaping the reward of your past effort in Jesus' name. To harvest lots of yam in a dream, it will also signify fertility, luck, and a promising future. You have sown in the past, it's time to enjoy the fruit of your labor. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you will eat the fruit of your labor in Jesus' name. Another good news of this dream is that if you would walk in God's way, then you should expect a great harvest. According to Mark chapter 4, verse 29, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9, by the special grace of God, in your due season, may you reap from what you have sown in Jesus' name. Instruction Pray for restoration and harvest of your blessings. Pray for restoration and harvest of your blessing. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Father, help me to reap from where I have sown in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to reap from where I have sown in the name of Jesus. Father, help me to reap from where I have sown in Jesus' name. Say, Holy Spirit, arise and make provision for me today. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, arise and make a provision for me today. Make a provision for me today. Make a provision for me today. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, arise and make a provision for me today in Jesus' name. Say, I declare God's fruitfulness upon my life. In the name of Jesus, I declare God's fruitfulness upon my life. In the name of Jesus. I declare God's fruitfulness upon my life in Jesus' name. So, o Lord, increase my blessings and enlarge my course in the name of Jesus. O Lord, increase my blessings and enlarge my course. Increase my blessings and enlarge my course in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say, I declare that the blessings of God shall overflow in my life in the name of Jesus. I declare that the blessings of God shall overflow my life. The blessings of God shall overflow in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe today. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.